I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. How far is too far when you're beefing with somebody? In war, women and kids are off limits. So what happens if that line has already been crossed? Now this Adam and T-Raw beef is spiraling out of control. If you guys are not caught up, please go watch the videos on my channel. It's all there and it's all documented. Yesterday, T-Raw caught some heat for saying some very disrespectful things to Adam and his daughter. Here's what he said. We going all war time, man. I want Oof. everybody to hate me, okay? I want you to hate me for the rest of your life, man. You feel me? It's enough disrespect. I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna be disrespectful, man. I want you to always hate me. I'm gonna never fuck with you, ever. You feel me? There's there's gonna be always a beef with me. This is on site every time. Win, lose, or draw. You can pack me out. Whatever you wanna do. You feel me? Because I'm gonna try to get mine every single time. You feel me? But this is a message for you. You feel me? Tell Parker. When she see me, when you get older, when you see this, Parker, you feel me? Like, I'm going to kick you in your ass. <laughs> and fuck your daddy. You feel me? And fuck your grandma, too. You feel me? But that's just where I'm at with it. But we'll speak more on it tomorrow. <laughs> now, a lot of people have been giving T-Roll backlash for speaking on Adam's daughter like that. And while I do agree that T-Roll probably should not have said those things about her, let's not forget, Adam was violating T-Roll's wife. Adam has called his wife names, exposed her for allegedly doing certain things in her past. And if you're beefing with a gang member, this is par for the course. Now, Adam did respond back to T-Roll. Here's what he said. So you're telling me that this is how easy this is gonna be i do a 28 minute surgical dismantling of your life career and what you've accomplished and then you say you're gonna kick my daughter in the ass do you think that you're winning anyone over with this sort of outburst you need to use your words bud uh frankly i'm embarrassed i feel like you could have done a lot better and you didn't respond to anything that I said. And I had all kinds of material, true things in my rant that you don't want to respond to. So once again, when you said I'm not academics, you're right. You're not I'm 22 either. You're not good at this whole argument thing. That's why you're threatening to kick little kids in the ass. And you're, you're a little... Buddy did this too, so I guess this is maybe your thing. Now, as you guys can clearly see, Adam did not have an issue with what t Rell said. He knows the nature of their beef. He knows things that he has said about t Rell and his family. So I think it's obvious to say that both guys have officially taken off the gloves. But I don't know if Adam knows this, but they're fighting two different battles. Adam is trying to have a battle on the content side. He wants t Rell to go on camera, clown him, joke on him, yell at him, all in the name of content. But doesn't look like t Rell is playing by the same rules. t Rell has told Adam that he hates him multiple times it's real beef with him not the fake content beef so what you guys think about this man do you guys think t-rail went too far with this speaking on adam's daughter push comments below subscribe to my channel like this video i'll see you guys later